The last time the NBA was in Paris for a regular season game, it was the Hornets facing the Bucks. Now three years later, the league has returned to the City of Lights for another regular season matchup. It'll be the Bulls facing the Pistons on Thursday and Charlotte native and Bulls power forward Patrick Williams was kind enough to join us after practice on a Wednesday to discuss the opportunity to play here in France and what it's like each time he returns to the Queen City to play against his hometown team, the Hornets. Uh, well, you're in Paris for the second ever regular season game here in the NBA, set to face the Pistons on Thursday. How you feeling? Tell me about that matchup and, and just what's going into that game-wise. Um, game-wise, I mean, it's, it's, it's always coming out here to, to win a game. Um, obviously, it's, it's a little bit different here in Paris, and um, there's, there's a lot more media behind it um, than, than would normally be. Um, but for us, I think it's more so enjoy Paris, um, enjoy, enjoy the opportunity. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for for all of us, um, but more so uh, know we have to lock in tomorrow night um, and, and still get the win. So I think it's a combination of both, and that's kind of what this life is about. Uh, and obviously a special opportunity, you said, to come out here to Europe and play. It's going to be a sellout crowd. So to have that experience, to come out here and, and give the European fans some love, what does that mean? Um, it means a lot to me, honestly. Uh, obviously they've been a huge part of basketball and um, kind of kind of pushing it forward. Um, they've the players they've had, uh, the culture they have around basketball is, is, has always been huge, and I, th I think we're starting to see it more, uh, more so now. Um, so I just, I just think it's huge. I mean, you can't, you can't um, knock the opportunity to, to, to come and show what the NBA is about. Um, we're all representing the, the NBA on and off the court. Um, so for me, it's, 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 it's an opportunity that um, I just try to cherish, try to um, take as much away from it as I can make memories while I'm out here because um, this this doesn't come out every day. Uh, and obviously you said the goal is to win, but it is your first time in Paris. You guys get to go out and enjoy the city a little bit. So what's been the biggest surprise for you so far? The biggest surprise? Uh, how many people speak English? <laughs> um, I didn't really expect this many people to speak English, honestly, because uh, I don't know how to speak French. Um, so I, I think it's cool to see how many people are, are actually bilingual and how many people actually know um, at least a little bit of the, of the history and uh, the things that 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 um, Americans kind of take for granted. Um, so that that part of it, obviously, um, it's just so beautiful here. I mean, it's still it's it's pr probably the same temperature here as as in Chicago, um, but it's just so much more beautiful. The sun's out. People people are all walking and um, on their bikes or on their cars. So I mean, it's it's a uh, it's just a huge cultural shock, honestly. Um, but I love it here. Uh, and then, you know, team bonding, I feel like a lot of that's probably going on on this trip. I've seen a proposal, you guys have been to the Eiffel Tower, all of those things. So what has the team bonding aspect been like on this trip? I mean, it's been great. It's been great. Um, I think we're all kind of, I mean, it brings you closer together, honestly. Um, you got a long flight um, and, and, and you're out here. I think everybody kind of got a plus one. So whether it's your mom or girlfriend or wife or whatever, um, I think it's cool that we all get to meet each other's um, significant others um, if they did come or meet each other's families if they did come, um, but also just kind of spend time with each other and kind of see different um, different scenes, um, see a different look than, we, than, than we're used to. Obviously in Chicago, kind of get the same things over and over, same restaurants, um, same things like that. So I think it's pretty cool to, 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 to kind of go through our first together with your teammates, with your brothers. Um, so, that, so for me, that's kind of been a fun part. Um, and I, I, I'll just try to keep exploring and making memories with each other. All right, you're a West Charlotte guy. What does it mean when you get to come back to the Hive? Obviously, you're playing for the Bulls, but when you get to come back there and, and play a, a league game in front of your hometown? It means so much to me, honestly. Um, I grew up watching the Bobcats, watching the Hornets. Um, so it just means a lot to me, honestly, to, to, to come back and, and to play in front of my family, play in front of my friends. Um, a lot of people who don't, who don't come out to, to, to Chicago, and um, I get it. You know, uh, People have lives and things like that. So to come back and kind of show them what I've been working on and, 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 and kind of um, <laughs> and uh, uh, that that you know the the love and support that they put into me to, has kind of paid off and still continues to pay off um, I don't I don't take that for granted at all I love it going back going back home playing there um, still got to get the win though but I love I do love coming back home is there somewhere in Charlotte you have to go like is it is it home cooking? Is it a restaurant? Somewhere you have to visit? Someone you have to catch up with? What's a what's a trip back to Charlotte like for you? And what are the must-dos? Uh, I have two must-dos for now. Um, 
as my career probably goes on, I'll probably add a little bit more. But for now, it's Bojangles and Cookout. <laughs> I, got, I gotta have both of those. Uh, Chicago doesn't have either one of those, um, but I gotta have both of those every time I go back. And then, uh, well, good choices, by the way, right? Must haves. But, uh, but, um, and then for you personally, obviously, you're in your third year in the league. You've already had to face some adversity with the wrist injury and stuff. But, you know, how have you seen your development grow, and and what's it been like going from your rookie season to year three and being here right now? I mean, it's been fun. It's been fun through 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 everything, through the ups and downs, um, through the adversity. Uh, for me, it's just kind of more so using it to my advantage. Um, how can I how can I take it uh, a situation that's supposed to be uh, powerful to me and kind of switch it um, to be a positive for me. Um, it's been great to just just the people I've been able to see play and and, and, and uh, whose who's brains I've been able to pick. Um, obviously, you got Demar Derozan, who's um, one of the best small forwards that ever played a game, one of the best shooting guards that ever played a game. Uh, obviously, Zach Levine, who is you know his his name speaks for itself. You know what I mean? And, and, and uh, just the guys I've, I've been able to learn from over these three years is has really been a dream come true. Um, we got a long ways to go, though, for sure, um, and I'm kind of looking forward to it. But in terms of the journey, um, I've really been I've really been happy with it so far. Um, obviously, there, there, there's been struggles, there's been adversity, uh, but just kind of embracing those, um, knowing knowing that they come with um, that comes with the game. Um, you can't you can't really dodge those, and um, that's what makes you the best when you go through when, you, when you're going through things or going through something. Um, coming out on the other end kind of makes you always makes you. You know, stronger and better. So, um, definitely just uh, embracing that, um, just having fun with it. So, it's, it's, it's been a dream come true. And final question: When you look back at your high school, and obviously a lot of guys on that team aspire to be you to follow in your footsteps. What's your message to the guys back in Charlotte playing high school ball where you did? Um, keep going, keep going. That's 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 always been my my, my motto. Just keep going. Um, it's not always going to be pretty. It's not always going to be good. You're going to have setbacks. You're going to have letdowns. You're going to have bad times but um, that's just part of the game so I just say keep going whatever situation whatever um, season that you're in right now just just keep going if it's a good season keep going keep pushing stay in the gym if it's a bad season keep going keep pushing stay in the gym um, when you put the work in and you do it with a, with a with a pure heart and you really love the game it always going to uh, end up working out for you in the end so that's pretty much just, my, just been my motto just keep going uh, through whatever whatever season you're in right now we appreciate your time. Enjoy Paris and good luck on Thursday. Thanks. <laughs> now, just like when the Hornets were here to play Milwaukee, this game is a sellout, which shows you just how global the sport is and just how much a regular season game here in Europe means to its fans. In Paris, France, for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Ashley Stroline.